Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Allison Moody and today I will be presenting to you how to effectively conduct business in Saudi Arabia. First, some things you should know. Saudi Arabia is located on the Arabian Peninsula in Southwest Asia. People more commonly refer to this area of the world as the Middle East. The population in Saudi Arabia is hovering around 34 million people with the majority of these people living in either the capital city, Riyadh, or the second largest city, Jeddah. The ethnicity in Saudi Arabia is majority Arabic with few Afro-Asians. The religion of Saudi Arabia is officially Islam, and later on in the presentation, you will see that their religion is intertwined into every aspect of their lives. Some business etiquette that you will need to learn before you go into Saudi Arabia. When going to business meetings, it is expected that you arrive on time and if possible early. This just shows that you respect their time and respect um, their culture. When going into a business meeting, you will need to greet everyone. Assuming everyone is the same gender as you are, you will greet them with a firm handshake moving left to right. And if they are not the same gender of you, then you, you do not shake their hands. Depending on how well you know them, if you're great friends and have known each other for quite a long time, you can kiss them on alternate cheeks um, and that would be acceptable. When greeting Saudi Arabians, if it is applicable, you will want to call them by doctor or teacher. And if it's not applicable, then you will just call them by their name. When meeting at an office in Saudi Arabia, it is common that they will have refreshments such as coffee, tea, um, and dessert type foods. And it is respectful that you take their offer and take their refreshments. During the business meetings, there will be an agenda and it will not be followed. The Saudi Arabians like to focus on casual conversation and getting to know their business partners so they can form trust. They are not much on business talk um, and this will also cause negotiations and ideas that have to be decided on to take an extensive amount of time just because they like to have co casual conversation and not much business conversation. The women in business, women are not thought of to be equal as to men in Saudi Arabia. The business women in Saudi Arabia are expected to wear customary outfits and attire. They will be covered from head to toe and have a headscarf on and they could possibly be seen wearing a veil. Visiting business women, um, there is a new rule about visiting business women and they are not expected to wear the head headscarf and be covered from head to toe, but they are expected to dress conservatively and not wear many skirt or tank tops. Men and women are also not allowed to be in the same office space alone with each other or in a vehicle alone with each other. If you find yourself in a vehicle alone with the male, you are to sit in the rear seat behind the driver's seat so that he can't see you. This is just out of respect for their culture um, and respect for their customs. Documentation in Saudi Arabia. When going to visit Saudi Arabia, you must have a passport that will be issued to you from your home country. That just shows your citizenship and identity. When traveling to Saudi Arabia for business or business meetings, you have two visa options. One is the business visit visa and the other is the commercial visit visa. The business visit visa 
issued through the government of Saudi Arabia, and that will allow you to conduct business and work temporarily in their country. The commercial visit visa is also issued through the Saudi Arabian government, but it does not allow you to do work. It only allows you to travel to their country to attend a business meeting or conference. So if you have the commercial visit visa, you will not allow to conduct any business in Saudi Arabia. Imports and exports that Saudi Arabia does, they are the 26th largest exporter in the world. This meaning that they export a lot of goods and the majority of these goods are petroleum based. So 65% of what they export is crude petroleum and following that 65% at 8.3% is refined petroleum. And this is where they make a lot of their income. Imports in Saudi Arabia revolve around transportation. Imports are led by cars at 7.6% and followed closely behind the, that is planes, helicopters, and spacecrafts at 3.3%. So you can see that their imports revolve a lot around transportation. So this is just some information for you about doing business in Saudi Arabia and what you need to know before traveling. Thank you.